Ellington, uh, and that one featured, we opened that up a little bit, uh, let me see if I can remember who blew on that one, Angel, and just hold your applause to the end, Angel, Jackie, Israel, Aiden, Blaze, Christian, Joe, I forget anybody? Oh, and Carlos, yay! Alright, our next tune, uh, Thelonious Monk, Round Midnight. And this one features our star, our workhorse. Uh, if you know this baseball reference, I call him Fernando Valenzuela. Because it's time in the sort of used him way too much in the 80s, but now I'm going to start ranting, so I'll stop. You guys missed that one. You guys are too young. All right, cool. So, the grown folks caught that one. Round Midnight, Christian Fierro, and our rendition uh, inspired by Tito Puente. Uh, Round Midnight.
right, Rob Midnight, one more time for Christian Pierre back there. All right, well, once again, riding on the back of our, of our workhorse, Christian Pierro is gonna blow some, over some changes, and he's gonna do that on Janine. Duke Pearson, this was a, a, a favorite from a few years back, and the kids wanted to do it again because their friends did it a few years ago, so here we go again. Those of you, uh, shout out to Ivan and Stephanie and, and Andy and Aaron, yeah, old alum. They're, they, uh, you guys inspired, inspired this one inspired them to do it again. So uh, if you guys are here, shout out to you all. You guys paved the way and uh, uh, we have this because of you all. So, all right, here we go, Ginny. by one of our coaches who is a, uh, a local musician who has played with everybody from uh, Count Basie, uh, Count Basie Orchestra, Monkestra, uh, Frank Katz Band, and you know, in pop and in jazz. He's played with us and, and, this, and our students. Uh, 
happened to be lucky enough to be able to work with him and, and the rest of our of our jazz staff. Uh, La Negritud is a piece that he wrote uh, when he was in college, at, at, when he was at USC. Um, and this is a contrafact, which is a common practice in jazz where they take a, uh, a tune, they'll take the chord change to the tune, but they'll write a, 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 a new melody on top of that. So he used impressions, John Coltrane's impressions as his inspiration. So here we go, La Negritud, their final tune. Thank you so much, you've been a great audience. Looking forward to coming back next year. Thank <laughs> you.